What's good people, it's your boy 13.com. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest and fastest way to export your vocals um, in a pack so that you can send them off to a mixing engineer to have them mixed and mastered. So obviously you would wanna do something like this if you had recorded a song for yourself, if you're a rapper or a singer, um, and then if you want to send it to a mixing engineer to have it professionally mixed and mastered, then you're obviously you're going to need to send them the vocals. Now, sometimes they're going to ask for the vocals dry, which means no effects. Sometimes they're going to ask for the vocals wet, which means they want the effects on the vocals still. Um, and sometimes they might ask for both. So you're going to have to send them as a package. Now, the longest way to do this is to um, have your track here, um, extend the loop. Go to uh, bounce, go to bounce or project, and then go to MP, uh, go to PCM, go to wave, and then OK. Now you would have to do that for each separate vocal track, which is going to be done a good few times. But the easiest way and the fastest way to do it is to um, extend your loop so that your end loop is beyond the finishing of the song. You want to drink, bring your marker close to the edge, okay? And then you want to go to file and then you want to go to export and you want to go to this all tracks as audio files which basically means you want to export which is here you want to export all the tracks that you can see as separate audio files so if you click that it's going to take you to this screen here so now you want to go to the file you want to name, uh, start a new folder you want to call it vocals or vocs for short now i'm going to call it vocs free because there's already a few vocs files in this file already so vocs free and boom, you're in Vox free. Um, from there, you want to, you don't want to change anything here. You want to leave this as wave. You want to leave the, leave that as a 16 bit. Now the two key things here to look out for is whether you want to bypass the effect plugins, which means if you don't want any effects or if you do want any effects. Um, obviously, if you want, if you want to, um, if you want the vocals dry, as I mentioned, you will leave this ticked because it's going to bypass the effects that you've already got here um, and leave them plain. If you if you don't, um, or if you do want to include the, the, the effects, then leave this unmarked. Um, right now, for example, I'm going to imagine I'm sending my vocals to someone uh, as dry. So basically no effects. So I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to tick that box and bypass my effects. Now also here you're going to have include volume um, and pan automation, which basically means if you want to include the volume um, of the vocals. My advice is just to leave this, leave this box ticked. Um, and allow the mix engineer the freedom to mix um, and change the volumes according to what he thinks he should be doing. Um, so leave that there. So what you want to do is you want to go to leave this at 13 tracks to be bounced because it's telling you how many tracks you have to be bounced. And then you want to just go to save. And now it's exporting all the tracks separately. Okay, it's exporting the tracks separately now. Um, at the moment, I've got my vocal preset called Drake, which you can actually get from my website. Um, right now, it's a it's, it's you know it's a really cool effect for your vocals to make them sound clearer, crisper, and more smoother. Um, but at the moment, each track is called vocal preset. But you could individually name them if you wanted to. So something like this: vocal one or vocal two, for example. Yeah, that's just an example. So from you, well, once you've exported them, you want to go to the actual file. Um, let's let's go to the file. My music, logic, whatever. You want to go to the file here and you want to go to vocal free. Now, what you want to do is from here, this is this is the vocal file that you want to send. Uh, where's my screen gone? Great, it shut down on me. All right, it's come up because my, uh, my battery's getting low, so it starts to freeze a bit. So, we'll do that again. We'll go to document. See, we're live, baby. We're live. As you can see, there's no there's no smoke and mirrors here. There's, you know, we're live. Um, so again, we're going to go to that. And what you want to do is you want to click on your vocal file and you want to make this smaller because at the moment it's sitting at about, it doesn't tell you, but obviously the file is going to be quite big. And because you want to email it to someone, you want the file to be as small as possible. So you want to right click that and you want to compress the file. Okay, now it's compressing and it's making the file smaller. Okay, it's making the file to about 215 megabyte. So once you've done that, you want to go to We Transfer. Also, another question, obviously, if you want to engage your Facebook fan, this is a good website to go to to ask engaging questions to your fans. Um, we transfer. If you go to that, 
Now, WeTransfer is a file sharing website, which means you can send large files to someone else anywhere in the world for free um, just by adding the file here. So I'm going to go into that. I click add your file and I go to upload vocal free. Now, if you click these three buttons down here, it's going to ask you, do you want to send it as an email? Which if you do, then you're going to enter in the person's email. If you don't want to send it as an email, then you're going to, you can send it as a link. So it's going to upload. Okay. And once it's completed, it's upload. It's going to give you a link. Okay. Now you copy and paste that link and you send it to your mixing engineer. He will click on the link and then he'll be able to download your files and then voila. So I hope that helps guys. As I said, the quickest and easiest way to export your waves for mixing is this way right here. If you've got any questions or concern, drop a comment in the box below. Remember to get my vocal preset, my Drake vocal preset from 13.com. Um, and if you need any assistance or guidance, I'm here to help. Um, that's it. Take care, guys. Peace.